Yo 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 guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video on Film Truth. Today we're going to be talking about the criminal history of 6 ix 9 Remember guys, if you aren't already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, like the video and turn on those post notifications. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Daniel Hernandez, known professionally as Takashi 6 9 or just 6 9 is an American rapper, songwriter and convicted felon. His music has been marked by an aggressive style of rapping, while his controversial public persona is characterised by his distinctive rainbow-coloured hair, extensive tattoos, public feuds with fellow celebrities, and legal issues. On the 21st of February 2015, Hernandez attends a party in Harlem. While there, videos are taken that show Hernandez engaging in apparent sexual activity with a girl who is later revealed to be 13 years old. Hernandez was 18 at the time. Two weeks later, on March the 5th, Hernandez was arrested. About six months after that, on the 22nd of October 2015, Hernandez pleads guilty to one felony count of the use of a child in sexual performance. The plea deal obtained and published by Jezebel two years later requires Hernandez to complete 300 hours of community service, refrain from the use of posting or reposting sexually explicit or violent images featuring women or children to social media, undergo two years of mental health treatment, obtain his GED and write a letter to the victim's family acknowledging the harm he caused. On the 6th of January 2018, Hernandez got into an altercation in Houston, Texas after a fan takes a video of the rapper walking through the Galleria Mall. According to a police report, Hernandez accosts the fan, who was 16 at the time, and grabs him by the neck, causing small scratch marks and pain. Hernandez and his team then further threaten the fan, demanding that he deletes the video. On April 21st of 2018, Fugan Lovick, a member of Hernandez's entourage, fired a gun during an altercation with Casanova's entourage in a tunnel beneath the Barclays Center in Brooklyn on the night of a high-profile boxing match. Hernandez posts a video to Instagram shortly afterwards in which he's seen laughing about the incident. Jordan is investigated for both that shooting and one that took place on a Brooklyn street just hours before. TMZ later reports that a member of Hernandez's crew is being investigated for a shooting in Brooklyn the previous Thursday, in which 10 shots were fired at Kasanova's video shoot. On May the 10th of 2018, Takashi 6 9 is officially charged with misdemeanor assault in Texas for the altercation with a fan at the mall. On January 23rd of 2019, Hernandez pleads guilty to nine counts of racketeering, firearm offences and drug trafficking. The New York Times reports that the rapper is cooperating with authorities. In the fall of 2017, I met and joined the Nine Trey Blood Gang. 6 9 tells Manhattan US District Judge Paul and Galmea in a transcript released on February the first. As a member of Nine Trey, the enterprise engaged in such activities including shooting at people, robbing people and at times drug trafficking. He says specifically that they helped members of Nine Trey attempt to kill a rival gang member, admits to assisting with armed robberies and says that on June 2nd 2018 he paid a person to shoot a rival member of Nine Trey to scare him. That rival member is widely assumed to be Chief Keef. On September 10th of 2019, a section of 6 ix cooperation agreement with the government that had previously been unseen by the public is obtained by Complex. In it, Hernandez admits to seven years of domestic abuse against his ex-girlfriend and mother of his children, Sara Molina. 6 9 has now been released early from prison due to the coronavirus pandemic. Alright guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy this one, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.